Hello and welcome back to Winemaking 101, the series where I go through the fundamental topics of winemaking at home. Today's topic, very interesting, very good point someone's raised, is how much wine should you make? Well, the simple answer to how much wine you should make is always more than you're capable of drinking, because you're going to be wanting to share your hobby and your creations with your friends and family. So always think how many bottles you don't drink in an evening and double it because you'll always drink more. You'll always work through more. But what I really think this question comes down to is, should you be making a one gallon batch of wine or a five or 10 gallon batch of wine? A lot of recipes are aimed at one gallon batches. I personally make recipes for a one gallon batch because this seems to be the industry home brewing guideline. If you find a recipe for a homemade wine, you can be pretty certain it's going to be for a one gallon batch. It's the industry and hobby guideline, if you want. It's the expected amount that the recipe is going to be in. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't make more. You shouldn't make a five or 10 gallon batch. There are many, many pros to making a larger quantity of the wine. One of the main benefits is time passes anyway. One of the main benefits of making a bigger quantity of wine is that there isn't much more effort to your efforts and you get five times the amount in rewards. If you are there chopping rhubarb, you may as well chop five times the amount. If you're pouring sugar in, it doesn't take that much longer to pour five bags of sugar in compared to the one. And pouring water in, the tap is running anyway. Let the tap run for a few minutes more and fill it right the way up to five gallons. Why not? It's not taking too much of your time. And as I said, you get five times the amount of wine back. So you're making the wine and it's less effort to make a bigger batch. And also when you come, when you're fermenting the wine, the bigger thermal density of a five or 10 gallon batch makes the wine ferment faster. And also it matures and clears faster because of that thermal density. So. It's saving you effort and saving you time. It's easier to make one five gallon batch than it is five individual one gallon batches. And it ferments faster, and it matures faster, and it clears faster. All these things are hunky dory, so you're making wine that's easier to make faster. And it really is so simple to scale up from a one gallon wine recipe to a five or 10 gallon batch. You just multiply the ingredients by five or 10. Yeast is the only exception, because quite often the yeast sachets say that they will make between one gallon and five gallons. You'll be adding the same sachet of yeast to a one gallon batch or a five gallon batch. So this big batch of wine is going to be cheaper for you as well, because it's the one sachet in regardless of one or five gallons. So you're making your wine faster, you're making your wine with less effort, and you're making your wine cheaper and you have more of the wine to drink and enjoy. So I would always advocate making a five gallon batch where you can. The only exception is if you are doing an experimental wine and you don't know if you're going to like the end result or you want to tweak the recipe if you're creating your own. Before you invest five gallons worth of sugar, you want to make sure that the recipe is spot on and perfect. And then you can tweak the recipe, you can tweak the wine and then when you come around to make a five gallon batch, it is the best wine you can make for those ingredients. I personally made one gallon experimental wines. I then made five gallon batches of wines that I particularly like, which is all of them. And then I go into a 10 gallon run of those wines that I really, really enjoy. Or if I know that Christmas is coming up, I'll do a 10 gallon batch of what I call my party wine, which is a rice and raisin wine. It's simple to make, it's cheap and it's cheerful, and it doesn't taste too unlike a shop-bought Chardonnay. So it's great for around a party because everyone likes it. And if you want to see the recipe for the rice and raisin wine, it is just by here. And I'll see you all soon for the next video. Have fun now.